it's 7 a.m. It's already been a morning. We are loaded up in the car, waiting for all of the ice to defrost just so that we can get moving. We're taking Gretels to the vet for his surgery. Grayson's in the back seat. Here's the question of the day. How do you handle cold weather with a child? So they're not supposed to be in a coat, which I understand. I've seen those videos where they do the crash test dummies of children in coats and how they like slide out of their car seat. So I get it. Do you do the coat shuffle? Do you use a blanket? Do you just run? Do you shove them under your coat? What do you do? Um, I do a combination because I found the whole coat shuffle thing. It like makes no sense if you're spending a minute with the door open trying to stick their coat on. So I don't know if people go in on the other side of their car to get their kid's coat on. I don't know. <clears throat> One thing I don't miss about working full time is the traffic. I used to spend an hour getting to work and about 45 minutes getting home from work every single freaking day of my life. Like, what a waste of two hours of your life. And it looks like it's gotten even worse. I do not miss this at all. This would like, oh man, traffic, like, I'm one of those people that just can't, it like agitates me to no end. One thing I do miss though, is listening to the Bobby Bones show. <laughs> I'm listening to them right now. Did anyone watch him on Dancing with the Stars? I never watched Dancing with the Stars and I love Bobby Bones. And I think Grocery Store Joe from The Bachelor is so funny. So I basically watched it for them. And I watched the whole season and I really enjoyed it. Oh, there goes the cup. Okay, I'm making buffalo chicken. I don't know, but the recipe's on my phone so I can't even show you. I didn't think about that. Let me look at it. Okay, I figured it out. So all you need is 14 ounces of chicken and a fourth cup of buffalo sauce. Put it on low for probably all day. <laughs> and then we'll get back to the rest. It includes cheese and ranch. And then you dip it in the veggies, huh? Mm. Two pasties, huh? Okay, I'm getting ready and I wanted to just share one quick thing. If anyone has blonde hair, my hairdresser recommended this, IGK Mixed Feelings Leave-In Blonde Toning Drops. It's like purple, it's purple toning drops that you can mix in, like if you have a leave-in treatment, you mix it in with that. I probably do it wrong. But it, look at that. You just drop it into your hand. You're supposed to mix it with product, but I already put my product in. And what? Oh. You just rub it in your hair. And last time I went to see her um, to get a haircut and to get a tone, because we're trying to kind of stretch me between hair appointments, um, she was like, oh wow, it's not that bad. Um, so this stuff really helps. I recommend it. Sometimes I put it in um, like leave-in conditioner, like the Olaplex uh, number three protein treatment that you leave in for an hour. And I just put a bunch of this in it. So it's like toning my hair for an hour and it's really kept the brassiness out. I've been, whew, I've been really impressed with it. So I recommend you give it a try. I got mine on Amazon. So my Vlogmas is a little bit pre-filmed, but I wanted to put this in the video today because I found out about it and some of you might need to know this. There was a recall on children's ibuprofen and it's mainly on store brands. I think it said Walgreens, Target, CVS, Family Dollar, store brand 
ibuprofen so i will put the link below for more information but i just wanted to insert this really quick here because i know some of you watching might have teething babies and you might be giving them that we give grayson that luckily we had Lidl brand and it wasn't affected um but that is so scary it said that the dosage was actually higher which can be really dangerous on such a small little person so just double check your stuff scary stuff can happen and I would really hate for any of you to be affected by this. Woo! All right, on the way to the chiropractor. I feel like we're just running a zoo today. I'm on the traction table. Mm. Someone's enjoying a cheese stick. This is like heaven. Oh, there's stuff on my cheek. Sorry about that. Dad's home. I'm waiting in the car until he's done because it's really loud. Yeah, we are still eating leftovers. It is, uh, what is this? Five days post party? I have not vlogged the whole rest of the evening because Grayson went buck wild, teething, crazy baby, crying, screaming for like three or four hours straight. Nothing seemed to help, so I'm exhausted. She's finally asleep. So I'm going to get some sleep and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.